Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about some fun gun and knife combos. Now, I have lots of guns as I'm... Now I have lots of knives as I'm sure most of you are aware, but at the same time too, I tend to find that certain gun and knife combos work really well together, whether that's size, weight, um, or overall kind of philosophy or reason as to why I carry that particular gun or that particular knife. So I thought today that I would talk about some of my most carried gun and knife combos because I do notice it as a trend and once again, some of these knives and guns pair really well together. So, so without any further ado, guys, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, and all of that fun stuff. Now, let's talk about it. Okay, so the first one for me is going to be my pretty much go-to gun and knife combo for EDC. Now, like I said, I do run other things, other firearms, other knives, other gear in general, but for me, these are probably my favorite two, uh, my favorite gun and my favorite knife as a whole, so they end up spending a lot of time with me in general. So, of course, like I said, this is a Glock 19. This is a Generation 4 with, of course, some Gucci modifications, and uh, yeah, just an overall really nice piece really cool gun and i really like shooting this thing i really like carrying it i think it looks nice and it is a fun gun to run so that is my go-to and once again of course it is hot because it is my current edc so that is the first gun and the first knife combo it's again probably no surprise is going to be my purple hint my purple hinder xm8 and this guy once again just another fantastic knife i know some people are like how much does hinder pay you to make all these comments about hinder knives but honestly i really do like my hinderers and you know there are a wide uh range of people that loathe hinderer knives but these are some of my favorite blades so this one in particular being all purpled out is my go-to and so honestly like i said i find it in my pocket quite a bit and i really still love that freaking recurve blade the handle the ergonomics are just amazing so that's my first gun and knife combo the hinderer xm18 three and a half inch with the custom Glock 19. Okay. In amount of time carried, this setup is probably the next one up. And this is the FN 509C tactical handgun. And this guy is just a really, is honestly probably about the smallest handgun I would realistically go for. Um, for me, I really do, I'm pretty preferential to my larger handguns, but every once in a while, especially for like athletic things or being, you know, doing fitness type stuff, having a smaller handgun sometimes is really nice because, you know, when you're not wearing as much or as thick a clothing, it can be harder to conceal more full-sized or straight up full-sized handguns. So having a smaller option like the FN 509C is preferable sometimes. Now, like I said, once again, it isn't one that I carry. A whole, it's not a go-to that I reach for every time, but I do like to carry it, especially when I want something that's just a little bit more scaled down, especially in the handle department. The handle on this guy is super, super small and really just fits me quite well. You guys can probably see I have a little bit of hang off, but overall, you know, I have all four fingers on there. So this is about the smallest I would go for um, as far as handgun size, as far as handgun sizing goes. Do like also to the fact that it still has a pretty long barrel. It's about as long with this threaded barrel as a Glock 19. So still getting okay or pretty average uh, velocities out of the barrel. So that is the FN 509C tactical as far as the handgun goes. Of course, this one's running a Vortex Viper on it with uh, Trigicon suppressor height sights. And as far as the knife goes for this kind of athletic or lightweight setup, it is going to be the Benchmade Bug Out. Now, this is one that, once again, might talk a lot about athletic, working out, uh, having a knife for super lightweight option or for a super lightweight option. This is usually my go-to. And while the Bug Out is by no means my favorite knife, this is a pretty darn hard to beat knife i think this one comes in at like 1.8 ounces so it's just very tough to you know find a knife that is or has as long a blade length as long a handle length and is as usable or serviceable as a bug out for a sub two ounce knife it's really crazy but uh yeah this guy is just overall pretty darn good and uh there's not really much too much more i can say about the benchmade bug out
I will also say too, this one is pretty nice because uh, this is a aftermarket or not aftermarket. This is a limited edition that comes in at 20 CV. So it is pretty hard to beat for the steel, for the size and for the weight. Okay, my next one is kind of more of a defensive setup where if I need to or feel the need to have a little bit extra, um, you know, if I'm going into a potentially risky area or something along those lines, this is where I will usually run a setup that's a little bit more um, aggressive, if you will. So the first one or the gun for this setup, of course, is none other than the Glock 19X. For a few reasons, this one I intentionally keep pretty slick and, uh, you know, there's no like bulky protrusions for red dot optics or anything like that. Um, it is just pretty slick sided and pretty minimal, but at the same time too, has a good, nice long handle length and can accommodate 19 round magazines, which means if you put a round in the chamber, 19 uh, rounds in the mag, you have a 20 round nine mil handgun that is very controllable, very shootable, and is a pretty darn hard to beat handgun. I really do love the Glock 19 accent, even though it is no longer my go-to per se. Uh, it still sees quite a bit of time and I really do love, especially when I go to the range, bringing this guy out to shoot. It is just so much fun to shoot. Not to mention, I still love the FDE coloration of it. It is fantastic. Now moving over to the knife paired with this one, I really couldn't think of any other knife better suited for this job than the Microtech Ultratech. Now this is a Signature line. This is a double-edged version, of course. It's in M390 or Bowler M390 as far as blade steel goes, and it is just rocking that double-colored FDE kind of or OD green G10 with black uh, aluminum handle, and it is just a menace of a knife. It is really cool. The thing I love about these double edges from Microtech is they are so incredibly sharp and pointed. You can literally stab yourself with this without even feeling it. So this thing is absolutely awesome. And the fact that it is a light and quick OTF that comes out with a nice, strong, reliable action makes it really great, especially for defensive situations. So that is my knife of choice for a more defensive rig. All right, last one up on the list is going to be the kind of what I consider polymer wonder setup, and that is the CZP-10C. And so the last one up on the list is going to be what I consider the value or polymer wonder kind of setup. And this one I think is just my kind of rig for a tremendous amount of value and performance for the price you pay. So of course, for the handgun, it is the CZP-10C, another fantastic option, really quite the competitor for the Glock 19, but this thing is such a nice shooting, such a clean shooting and awesome handgun for what it is. I really do like the CZP-10C and I might actually end up getting a more modernized version of it that does have an optics cut, but for now this one is slick sided and this guy is just really a go-to handgun for me. It is very nice. Um, it is a little bit larger than the Glock 19. Uh, it's more approaching the Glock 19X size range, but that really just means that it's very controllable, very shootable, and a very comfortable handgun to carry overall. Now, that is the handgun for this setup. Now, the value-oriented or polymer wonder knife is going to be my Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Now, now this is a limited edition version, so this one probably is a little bit more expensive, but by and large, when it comes down to it, the Paramilitary 2, I think, even with the more expensive options, like the $200 range, Paramilitary 2s offer a tremendous amount of value because they are such versatile, such multi-role capable blades at doing a wide variety of things. You could push this into a tactical situation. It has a good blade length, good reach, but if you also just need it to cut open a box, it is super slicey super clean and also the action is very smooth it's just overall a very well-rounded blade for doing like i said a wide variety of different tasks and i think that the uh 
paramilitary twos by and large punch well above their weight when it comes to you know like the price that you pay to get this type of quality not to mention too you can get them in a million different flavors different blade steels blade shapes blade designs grinds all that kind of stuff this thing is a crazy versatile knife the paramilitary two or the whole family of paramilitary twos very awesome they come in a wide variety of blade steels as well so you can really get the knife that you that is going to be best suited for your role or application so that is the spider co paramilitary 2 and i think that it pairs really well with the czp 10c anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this list hopefully you enjoyed the options and as always guys god bless and i'm out